thing I should talk about is the fist. I think, oh, it's just the fist, but it's not really. The fist we use is called Lo Xing Chuan, which means a spiral shape. Uh, like a, well, the literal translation, Lo Xing, is a conch shell, like a, like a seashell that's twisted. Yeah. Right, that's right. Okay. I think so, yeah. yeah. I'm just trying to figure out the connection. So it's like a spiral s seashell, and it's the yeah. same shape that you're, you're trying to make with the fist. Yeah. So the little finger's in quite tight, and the next one's not quite as tight, so you get a little step. The next one's not quite as tight, and the top one's not quite as tight, and the thumb just tucks in on the knuckles of the first two fingers. Now, if that's flat, my striking surface is here, between the two knuckles, my first two knuckles, but if that's flat, that's above the line of my wrist, which means there's no supporting structure there. So what I do is I tilt my wrist down slightly, so this, these two knuckles line up with the dead center of my wrist, yeah? So that means my whole forearm is gonna get behind that strike, and I'm gonna strike into that point, yeah? So if I push against something like Daniel's chest, there's the contact point, supported by the wrist, all the way down to the elbow. The elbow gets supported by this, the upper arm, into the shoulder. The shoulder is supported by my centre, and then it goes through. So we're hitting with this point, and the, the fist is made like that, rather than tight, all tight. Let those knuckles come forward slightly, angle it angle the fist downwards a bit so this and this line up together yeah okay so hands into fists we're compressing into the center of our body and then we're going to release it yes yeah? so we release from the body as well to let the body expand out okay?